Hello everybody, TMW here and welcome back to Mailbag Monday for December 2nd, 2013. Uh, baffling that it is already December. I'm not quite processing it properly yet, but I'll get around to it anyway. Uh, very thin week in the mailbag this week. Uh, only three items, uh, obviously uh, on account of Thanksgiving. Um, because everybody's at home with their families, including publishers and publicists, enjoying the break. So I hope you all had a really fantastic uh, holiday, uh, safe and sound, and didn't put on too much weight from all that stuff you stuffed in your face. Uh, so a couple of quick announcements before I get into the mailbag uh, this week. Uh, first off, uh, if you're going to be doing holiday Christmas shopping on Amazon for uh, of a bookish nature or... Uh, heck, anything else, um, please consider using my Amazon links on sfreviews.net. Um, doesn't matter what you buy, but uh, if you click through that way, then uh, they send me a very nice gift certificate, and it's a kind of a, it's a sweet little perk. Uh, also, starting in the new year, uh, I am going to be uh, opening an account with patreon.com. Patreon is, it's kind of like a crowdfunding website, but it's not like Kickstarter or Indiegogo or that sort of thing where it's all about fund a particular project in a certain time or anything like that. It's a way in which uh, the public can uh, choose to support content creators uh, like bloggers and YouTubers and things like that uh, at, at their own pace, at a, at a level that they feel that they can afford, and it's done in kind of a different way. But it's a way that I have uh, decided to maybe start kicking off uh, a way of monetizing uh, SFF180 and SFReviews.net. Uh, the website, I've done the website for 12 and a half years now, and I've never really made an attempt to, to monetize it. It's always just been a pleasure for me, but um, these videos take a little bit more uh, effort and production, and, and at the same time I think, well, heck, you know, why not, uh, why not pull in a few extra bucks doing it this way? So look for an announcement about uh, a pa the Patreon account uh, at some time soon, and uh, I will be offering special perks to people who are my Patreon backers, things like, you know, the opportunity to do... For example, a group, a kind of Skype episode of SFF 180 where, you know, you yourself get to uh, contribute and talk about books you liked and that sort of thing. Anyway, that'll be happening, I think, probably after Christmas. But otherwise, without further ado, let's get into the books here. Not a big stack, like I said, so we should be able to knock this out pretty quickly. First one here is from an outfit calling itself Osprey Publishing Inc. I am not familiar with Osprey. Let's see what they have. Uh, oh! Okay. Uh, Angry Robot. I, I have received, uh, <laughs> the first time ever that I've gotten a paper, a print arc, uh, of an Angry Robot title. Um, usually they want to use uh, NetGalley. Uh, but this is nice. Hangwire. Uh, Adam Christopher is a guy who's gotten a lot of good buzz. Uh, lately, he's had some very well-received books like uh, Empire State and The Age Atomic. He has one coming out from Tor that I think looks really spiffy called... Um, the Burning Dark. So this is Hang Wire. Okay, Ted Hall is worried. He's been sleepwalking, and his somnambulist travels appear to coincide with murders by the notorious Hang Wire killer. Meanwhile, the circus has come to town. Oh, so it's like an evil circus tale. But the Celtic dancers are taking their pagan act a little too seriously. The manager of the Old World Fun Fair, with ease at the end of Old and World, of course, has started talking to his vintage machines, and the new acrobat's frequent absences, absences are causing tension among the performers. Out in the city, there are other new arrivals, immortals searching for an ancient power. A primal evil witch, if unopposed, could... Dun, 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 destroy the world, because what good is an evil power if you can't do that with it? Hangwire from Angry Robot. Thanks, guys. And the date given for that is uh, January 29th, street date. And Tor, once again. It doesn't, even on a very thin week like this, what publishing company really pulls through? Oh. New one from Ian Tregillis. Look at this. Something more than night. Um, you know, Ian Tregillis has uh, you know, done a very, very well-received uh, trilogy, starting with Bitter Seeds. Uh, this appears to be a new book of his. It is a standalone novel from the author of the critically acclaimed Milkweed Triptych series. Now, that's what I just referred to. This is a Dashiell Hammett and Raymond Chandler-inspired murder mystery set in Thomas Aquinas' Vision of Heaven. It's a noir detective story unlike any other, starring fallen angels and the heavenly choir, nightclub stigmatics, a priest with a dirty secret, a femme fatale, and the actual voice of God. Somebody has murdered the angel Gabriel. Worse, the Jericho trumpet has gone missing, putting heaven on the brink of a truly cosmic crisis. 
boy, uh, Pat Robertson would not be happy about this book. But the twisty plot that unfolds from the murder investigation leads to something much bigger. A con job one billion years in the making, because this is no mere murder. A small band of angels has decided to break out of heaven, but they need a human patsy to make their plan work. All right, uh, I like the sound of that in a big fat way. Um, something More Than Night by Ian Tregillis. Let me know, guys. And finally, for this week, this is something from the UK that has come all the way. I don't get too many international, again, print review copies because of the uh, expense involved in shipping. Uh, they usually like to do those uh, by, you know, ebook. This is a new book by Tom Lloyd, who has had a number of fantasy novels released here in the, uh, in the US uh, through Pyre SF. This is something called Moon's Artifice. And uh, look at that, the poison that could destroy an empire. This is from Golanz. In a quiet corner of the Imperial City, investigator Naren discovers the result of his first potentially lethal mistake. Minutes later, he makes a second. After an unremarkable career, Naren Tenali, Naren Tenali has the chance of promotion to the hollowed ranks of the Lawbringers, guardians of the Emperor's laws and bastions for justice, in a world of brutal expediency. Now that's interesting. Three books this week, and they all kind of have a noirish mystery angle to the, the narrative. I like that. Uh, but they're all very different in, in the kinds of stories they're telling. Joining that honored body is the culmination of a lifelong dream, but it couldn't possibly have come at a worse time. A chance encounter drags Naren into a plot of gods and monsters, spies and assassins, accompanied only by a grief-stricken young woman, an old man haunted by the ghosts of his past, and an assassin with no past. This is Moon's Artifice. It is new from Gallants in the UK. I do not know anything about uh, an impending US release date, but uh, here it is. And that's it. That's all we have this week. So um, until next time, uh, once again, please let me know uh, which of these uh, books you'd like for me to prioritize in the review queue. Uh, a lot of updates happening uh, this week. Uh, I, I've got some new videos up, of course. If you missed any of the videos that I put out over you know, the Thanksgiving weekend, like the Turkey Day Special and some of the other review videos that I've just done, please check those out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it by now. Spread the word to all your SFF reading friends. I love you guys, and until next time, read, read, read. And I'll see you soon.